let's go a little bit deeper in this supplement. The first thing is that you have to use this supplement and to deal with this supplement only if you try to take credit of the use of formal method instead of verification objectives. If you don't want to take credit in, instead of verification objectives, you don't have to use this supplement. Obviously, this supplement gives guidance for planning activities, for development process, processes, and for verification processes. But for planning, uh, it gives us only guidance to say, if you are using formal method instead of verification, of classical means of verification, you have to, to talk about that. In the development, there is not so, so many objectives. But the most uh, important uh, modification in, is in the verification processes. If you use formal method, this supplement will give you uh, a guidance for doing that. And uh, uh, this supplement also motivates to use formal methods because it says that with more, more formalism, syntax and semantics formalism, it's impli it implies more completeness, obviously, more correctness, more accuracy, more consistency, and it improves communication between engineers. But you still require verifications. In this supplement, <coughs> there is a definition of what is a formal method for this supplement. Maybe you are you, you could not agree with those definitions, but this is the definition of this supplement. Uh, it's a descriptive notation, an anal analytical methods used to construct, develop, and some other things. But it says that a formal method is a formal analysis carried out on a formal model. This is what is formal method for this supplement. This is the definition of this supplement. And what is a formal model? First, it says that a model is an abstract representation of a given set of aspects of system used for analysis, simulation, and so on. But a formal model is a model defined using a formal notation. It's not necessarily the case for a model. And the formal notation is a notation which has a precise, unambiguous, mathematically defined syntax and semantics. Those are the definitions in this supplement. And the formal analysis is the use of mathematical reasoning to guarantee that properties are always satisfied by a formal model. Always is important, and we will see why. It introduces also the notion of properties, and uh, in this supplement, properties are the formalization of requirements, either functional requirements, like this one, for example, check of a flash zone. This is an extract from uh, our use of uh, unit proof. You have to verify that the whole, the whole flash zone is initial, initialized to a value, etc. Or you have also properties which are non-functional requirements. For example, no oversizing of stack using used during execution of CPUs, of division like like zero uh, one-time errors. All those things are not uh, obviously covered by testing. It's not easy to verify by testing that the whole flash zone is initialized to value Z, to a value. In testing, you 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 make samples. Here also, uh, it's not easy to do that with testing. And I think this is not possible by testing activities. So with formal method, you can do that. This supplement is, uh, is talking about soundness. And it says that a method is formal if it has a sound mathematical basis. <coughs> Uh, that is to say, if you are using a formal analysis on a formal model and you have a result which is OK, if you have a bug inside your formal model and this analysis is not able to, to detect it, 
it is not sound. A sound method should never <coughs> assert that a property is true when it is not. This is in the in the formal method supplement. This is that. And you have in this supplement when you use formal method to to show the soundness of your formal method and the soundness of the formal tool you are using during your process. Another uh, idea which is developed in this supplement is the conservative, the notion of conservative representation. So, uh, when you use a formal model created from uh, informal items to perform a formal analysis, you have a result. The result is on the formal model, not on the requirements from which you have developed your formal model. So, this supplements say that if you want to uh, to take credit of this analysis on the formal model to uh, verify the, the requirements on which it is uh, from which it is developed you have to perform review and analysis to verify the conservative representation of those, this model so it's because we we need to be sure that whatever is proved about the formal model yeah also applies to what is modeled. 